Hi everyone, it's Dan here from Mobile Monkey, and I'm here to talk about connections and how you can use connections to send data from your Mobile Monkey chatbot into any of your other internal systems that you use to run your business. Today, uh, specifically, we're going to talk about how you can set up a link to Slack to post the notification in a Slack channel anytime somebody enters their email address. So I'll walk through how to do that right now. So. I've come into connections. It's on our side menu here with a little plug icon, and then I've made a new connection. And you can see it just has four fields, name and description I've already filled out. We're doing a demo for YouTube, and I'm making a video for my great customers. So URL and variables. So URL, this is going to be the link to the system that we're sending the data to. So I'm going to come back to that in a minute once I have that link. Variables. This is going to be the data that we're sending over, and for this field, you can choose from uh, you can choose from the system variables that come from Facebook, like first name and last name, and you can also pick through the custom variables that you've created since uh, developing your chatbot. So you can see I'm going to send over first name, last name, and email. So the next step we have to go and get this URL, and this is going to be the link, uh, like I said, to the system that we're sending the data to. Now, to get that link, we're actually going to go through a third-party tool called Zapier. So Zapier, if you haven't used it before, if you haven't heard of it, it's a great tool that you can use to link your application to any of these uh, other applications. And you can see they have a list here of a, a bunch of tools. So once you get your data into Zapier, which I'll show you how to do, you can explore and find all the stuff you use to run your business here and send your chatbot data over to those applications. Maybe you use MailChimp for sending out emails. Uh, maybe you want to tweet. I don't know. Every time somebody posts an email address, probably not a good idea. Uh, but you could you could create an internal Google Sheet of, of all the different list of people who have filled out your chatbot forms. A lot of possibilities in this tool. And I'm on a free trial or a free, app, free account, actually. So anything I'm doing today, you'll be able to do without entering a credit card. So I'm going to come up to the top and write Make a Zap. And you'll see a zap, which is what they call their, their tasks. A zap has two steps, a trigger and an action by default. You can add additional actions if you want, but we'll do a simple one today. So the trigger, this is going to be something that comes from the source application, which in our case is Mobile Monkey. So the trigger is going to be something that happens in Mobile Monkey, and it's going to send data to this task. And the action is what happens with that data. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our trigger. So first, we have to choose our app. Uh, for this, we're actually going to pick webhooks. And a webhook is just sort of like an, a web notification you can think about. So we're going to send a webhook to Zapier that contains the variables that, that you want to send over. We're just going to choose catch hook here. There's two options. And this next step is actually optional, uh, so we can skip it. Now we've come to the good stuff. This is where we're going to get our URL from Zapier. So like I said, we need to define that link. Uh, this, this is the URL that's going to link the two systems together. So I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. I'm going to come back over to Mobile Monkey. And I'm going to drop it right in this URL field. And just like that, we've set up our link between Mobile Monkey and Zapier. So next step is to test that link. So I come back over here, and you'll see this thing. Uh, this page here is what's going to test it. Mm -hmm test this step. So I'm going to say, OK, I dropped the URL into my source system. OK, I did this. And now you see it's waiting. This is waiting for Mobile Monkey to send data. So in order for us to send data, we actually have to trigger our webhook that we just created in Mobile Monkey. We have to trigger our connection. And those connections are going to fire any time that one of those variables that we entered is actually edited for any contact. So if I come back in, you'll see anytime someone's first name or last name is entered, so anytime a new contact is saved, it's going to send it over to Zapier. And anytime somebody's email address is updated, it's going to send it over to Zapier. So what I'm going to do now is come over to Messenger, and I'm going to talk. This is my Facebook page that's connected to this bot. And you'll see, I'll show you the pages I made. So I made a really simple, quick question on the home page that just asks if somebody wants to sign up for updates. And then that's going to take them over to an email sign-up form which will just ask for their email address. So that's what we're going to interact with right now. In order to get to that, I'll just type home. This is going to bring me home. Would you like to sign up for our email updates? Sounds great. 
All right, so what's your email address? So I'm going to enter my email address as dan at yahoo.com, which is not my real email address. I wish it was. Now it's just going to send that uh, monkey picture and then welcome aboard. So now if I come back over to edit step, you'll see test successful. It was able to send that information over to Zapier. So what you can do here is to make sure you got the, the information you wanted. You click view your hook. And you'll see it got my last name, my first name, and my email that I just entered into Messenger. So great, so now we have, we have the data just like that. We're hooked up to Zapier. And just like I said earlier, you can now take that data and send it to any of these applications that Zapier integrates with. In our case today, for step two, we're gonna say post notification to Slack. So in order to do that, you can, you know, there's a bunch of options here that, that Slack provides, and this you can see is very specific to Slack. So any application you choose here is gonna have uh, slightly different options for what you can do. Um, so I'm gonna say, let's send a channel message. Save and continue. So this is where you kind of provision access for Zapier uh, to your Slack account. I've already done this, so I'll pick, you know, my, my existing Slack here. Save and continue. Okay, so now this is where you fill out the details of what the message is gonna be that gets sent to Slack. And again, this is gonna differ from application to application, but for Slack, you'll see it's gonna pull back a list of all our channels, and I'm gonna choose Demo Zapier. Message text is gonna be, hey. And then you can look on the right, we have all the variables. These are what came from our system here, what came from Mobile Monkey. So I'm going to say, hey, Daniel, space, or first name, space, last name, with email address, dannyyahoo.com, just talked to your bot. Pretty great, huh? All right. So now you can come over to the bottom. There's a bunch of optional fields here that you can go through if you want to do your own Slack integration, but I'm going to skip them in the interest of brevity. Continue. Okay, so now we have our message all set up and we can just click send test to Slack. Now if I come over to my Slack here, I should see in our brand new channel, hey, Daniel Golder with email address, dannyyahoo.com, just talk to your bot, pretty great. So we are good to go. So I'll click finish and I'll give it a name, testing. And don't forget to turn it on. This is very important. If you don't do this, it won't actually pick anything up. So now you can see this thing is live. So I'll come back into Messenger, do what we just did. But this is a live test. Now this is if I were if I were a customer, what I would see. Would you like to sign up for email updates? Sounds great. Email address. I'll use a different email because if I don't update it, um, it's not going to fire. So I'll say dan at msft.com. We should get the, the hugging monkeys again with a nice little welcome message. And now if I come into my Slack here, just like that, we are good to go. So anytime somebody talks to this bot now, anytime they fill out their email address, I'm gonna get a notification in Slack. And this has been a demo of connections. Thanks very much for your time.